hello guys welcome once again today I'm gonna show you how to open the new J frame when you click your J combo box for example if you click marry some new J frame will open when you click John some new J frame will open and when you click Paul new window or J frame will open so how to do that I'm gonna show you today so first of all go to your source code and in here make one more method so I'm making the new method public void uh, what should be the name of this method combo select combo select and this is our method in and in this method you should write first of all int take any variable name what you want to take I will take it as D is equal to whatever is the name of your variable of combo box my combo box variable name is combo box name it can be seen here combo box variable name and after int d equal to write com combo box name the variable name dot get selected index okay just write that and after that we should uh, write some condition for example if first before that I want to tell you what is index get selected index so what is a uh, index index is when you select the combo box and go to the model nd is your zeroth index mary is your first index john is your second index and yulia is your third index so index is the row number of the selected variable and by default the selected index is 0 always so it will show nd because our selected index is 0 because this is on our zeroth place so this is called index so write if condition and here you should write if d is equal to 1 for example select this when we want to choose Mary and we select Mary a new window will open so the index of Mary is 0 1 so we are writing when first of all we take the index into the variable int and when D is equal to 1 that is when we select Mary we will write this code 
what is the meaning of this code this is my new j frame name for example i have made my new j frame whose name is user in frame dot java so this is the name user info frame user info frame s is equal to new user info frame semicolon and write this s this s dot set visible is equal to true so this is for opening the new j frame these two lines okay once again else if if once again we will uh, give the condition you can give else if also i will give L. if this is equal to 2 index is equal to 2 our second index is let's see what is our second index in here our second index is john so when we select john 0 1 2 is john which window will open uh, I want to open my login login frame take any variable L for example is equal to new login I think I spelled my login J frame. This is J, and this is also J. So, this is name of my new frame which I have made here. This is J frame. So, this is the name login j frame l is equal to new login j frame and below that write l dot set visible and in here write true so when you so now when we run the program we should see yeah whenever we select our first index which is Mary 01 our user info frame will should open and whenever we choose 01 to John then our login frame should open so let's run the program and let's see what happens okay I forgot one thing we have not called our method anywhere so this is the name of our method combo select this is the name of our method our method so go to our main j frame and when it should open it should open when we click or select any item from here so right click here go to event go to pop up menu and pop-up menu will become invisible this middle one click so you will go to the method and here you should paste this method so whenever you click any item in the combo box this method is called and it will decide which J frame we should open so now let's try to run the program and now let's click marry and see new j frame opens or not yes it opens our user info page and now when we click john it should open our login frame so I think we are successful in our 
program so that was the tutorial on how to open new JFrame by clicking the J combo box item I hope you have learned something so please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now